Greetings, Mandrake here. This is Mission 9, the sequence on the difficulty legendary with all skulls on, except for bandana. No deaths. This is part of my Lazo without bandana deathless series. All secondary objectives have been completed. All equipment has been fully upgraded. The load game is situated after I collected wow. my loadout of choice, performed a restart fire. mission, it's so and end game. Blue. Evolved, different. And I'm currently carrying a full BR sure and full sniper rifle. It's acting as the command. I'm going to get in position here. Operation. To try and Can pick off the two elites. Hopefully, we just need to look All these enemies are in patrol mode. I have not been spotted. And the goal here at the very beginning is just to pick off both of these elites. And then I can kill the rest of them with the, uh, I can just do noob combos with the plasma pistol on the remaining enemies. That worked out very well. There's a jackal miner here in the foreground. He's carrying a plasma pistol. So I will be collecting that. Use that against the grunts. Jackal major here. Got picked off. And then further back with the grunts is another jackal miner. So there's going to be five grunts and a jackal miner. I'll snipe this grunt. And I'm going to drop my sniper for the plasma pistol. And I'm kind of glad that that nade did not get near it. I was trying to find that plasma pistol. I want to put that sniper so that it won't be near any nades. And this will be kind of the easy part. This fully upgraded drop wall. So you fire projectiles through the drop wall and you get an extra shock, ef shock effect. So these guys are to be picked up in that. It worked out that the Jackal Miner was the last thing left alive. It's easier to get a shield off of them. In case I had gotten any damage. I don't need the plasma pistol. Get the sniper rifle back. It'll come in handy here in a little bit. So now at this point, I'm going to fill up the BR. There's a kinetic ammo dispenser around here in this little shed. And that's all I really need to get from here. I'm going to activate this plinth. I'll skip the cutscenes and then continue on. The trigger line for getting the Banshees in the air is right here at the bridge. Just cross the trigger line. I'll look straight ahead. One of them's airborne. And I'm looking at the second one here. I'm going to pick it off with the sniper rifle. And I'm going to hijack this other one. Sure. They're both kind of have a pre-script pre -script plan with where to go. This one gets close enough. I'll just grapple. And sometimes they don't get close enough. Oh. Plan B is I'll put a drop wall down. The uh, Banshee will just try and shoot me. If he sees me in the open, he'll try and shoot. Uh, but if you try and duck in the cover, then he'll turn away. I've had another case where you see where the Banshee took off and flew flew out there and hung around back there and then just disappeared, and which meant I have to travel would have to travel on foot to FOB, which by the way have Lima there that I can go and uh, I can get what I need to head off to the first beacon. Eventually this Banshee will make his way back towards me. Now I want to note there was a something with the game. I don't know if it was the game or if it was uh, something that's built in the game. However, if I fast travel it does something to the game to where the other beacons are not active and you can't do anything with the beacons. There's like no enemies and no plinth and you can't push the button or anything. So I finally got the Banshee to head my way. I had to wait a little bit. Now I can just grapple him. I'll kick him out. And I have a path that I'm going to fly that's kind of low risk and I'm just going to go to Father November. Get yeah, my question there, and as I was saying about the kind of little buggy thing with the game, 
is I can go to the this east a this uh, east beacon, complete it, and then when I get to the the other three beacons are not active, and no enemies, no plinth, you can't do anything with them, and so that's why I've chosen to travel to each of the. Uh, Obs and beacons without doing any fast travel. Okay. I think fast travel is something does something to the game and it's kind of goofy. Maybe the game wants you to do it and you know do it without a fast travel. I don't recall it being like that. I know I've done this many many times and done plenty of fast travel without having any problems with the game. So I'm here at uh, Fob November. I noticed there's a jackal sniper. Uh, Aiming out in this way, so I'm gonna try and look around see if I can find him. I couldn't even do that. It's over now. Once I heard Chief was down, and there's one of them. I knew we'd lost. And it turns out there's a second one. I had to. I found this pelican and just went. I'm sorry. And I got the second one taken care of. That's kind of odd. I can't say as many times as I've played as I have played this game and played this mission and been to November. I can't say I've been here and had a jackal sniper uh, looking in my direction or looking this way and trying to shoot this way. It, that's a first. And so already a couple firsts with this. So the plan here is I'm going to take a. Wasp to the east beacon. I keep wanting to say AA gun because I had just done a pelican down, so I had to say that a lot. So uh, I'm going to go into the east beacon, take a wasp. I'll use the wasp for maybe a little bit of fighting, but not really much. And a f make sure my BR, I mean, not BR, my uh, sniper rifle is full. I find sometimes whenever you requisition the uh, weapons, they should come out full, but I find times that they don't. Uh, I've turned, uh, what is it, Black Eye off, and sometimes you get the sniper rifle with four in the clip and then four in reserve, which is way, way, way below what it should be giving you. It should be giving you 416, which should be 20 rounds full, and I find the game doesn't always do that. So my goal here, or at least the plan here, is I'm going to start from the rear of the... Of the uh, of the beacon, and here's another oddity. This is another new thing that 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 I find new is getting uh, banshees in this area. I I have no. I'm trying to do this deathless. I I found some difficulties with going to the second one or having trouble with the first ones and stuff like that. So there's been lots of restart missions that come in here, and. Oh, I've done this two or three dozen times, and can't say I have run across banshees. And so when doing this run, actually when doing it the past couple days when doing this, only one time I had run into banshees, and it was it was just so new and unexpected. So anyway, with the wasp, I plan to kill the jetpack group captain up on top of the base here. He's scripted to hang around up here, so I'm just going to shoot and get him killed. It works out better if I kill him, and that's what I don't want to happen. I don't want to blow him away because I want that heat wave. That heat wave is, comes in very handy. So I'm going to have to do this without the heat wave. There is a full Ravager that I will be, I will be using. I wanted to get rid of that Brute Sniper. He's got a shock rifle, and that's lethal. There's a shade turret that's uh, going to be problematic, which is why I'm going to go get. I'm going to drop the sniper. I'm going to go get the ravager and start working on the shade turret. Put the drop wall down. I'll fire through it. Get the extra shock effect on it. It'll get stunned. I won't have to have uh, a risk with uh, with that. It's usually four shots and it'll blow up, but I think I'm just going to leave it and I think it's going to build up build up the detonation. I think I just gave it the fifth shot just to make sure. So I'll use the 
Ravager on the Brutes to remove their shield and then just headshot them with the BR. I can headshot the uh, Jackals. And I can also use the uh, Ravager on the uh, Grunts. Or the Sniper on the Grunts. So I'm going to be using the Sniper and the Ravager on just the enemies up here. Which is only what's to kill off the enemies necessary to get into the beacon. Now I've done I've done this with either a ghost or a wasp and come up the the long rounds where you have enemies to face at the bridge and then you have all the enemies working your way uphill to get up here. It's very risky. It's risky fight. There's plenty of plenty of chances to die. So I came up with the idea of just coming around here at the back and just killing the enemies close to the, the door. And then she'll make the announcement that uh, all the enemies are gone. It's not really that long a fight, but it is, it's a slow play because deathless. I'm just waiting for the drop wall to recharge. I've had a case where, as I duck in back here, see this barrier to my right? I typically see the rockets fly and they just fly overhead and they don't hit nothing, they just fly overhead and this and that. That's not usually a problem. And I had one case and it's just like I said, it's, it's it's always a bunch it's always something new. And it and I had one rocket hit that barrier and because of uh, cowbell, yeah, it would kill me. Boom, cowbell. Even though I had stepped back and felt like I was away from everything, yeah, it hits that barrier and kills me. And it hasn't happened again. Get the drop wall. I'm gonna grab the Ravager for these two. Actually, the rocket worked out well. Use the Ravager. And just launched him. So, Boom and Cowbell worked well for that. Sometimes that Ravager shooting through the drop wall will stun and do a lot of damage. One or two shots on the, on the grunts and then they're done. And they're simple headshots. I have plenty of sniper ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and use some sniper. Sniper is also handy for whenever I travel in the air with either a wasp or a banshee. Because you're always going to get banshees launch in the air, and so I can just quickly land and four shots into a banshee and it's down. If you put a drop wall down, three shots through the drop wall will destroy a banshee. And this should be the last grunt left alive up here, and I should get my shield back if I took any damage. I've also found sometimes if she doesn't make the announcement that all enemies are dead, I'll find that I have to fly just a little distance away and the moment you get just far enough away then she makes the announcement all the enemies are clear and then you, then I just fly back and go back inside still got hostiles yeah so here's of. one of those cases where she's saying there's still hostiles and there aren't any there's there's nothing nearby there's really nothing killed so I'll just jump back into the wasp and I'll fly off and then come back and it'll all be reset well not necessarily reset but It'll correct itself. It won't correct itself while I'm hanging around here. I think I'm just looking around just to make sure there's nothing here. So it, as a just in case that there's something still around, I'm going to move the weapon up there. In case I have to fight them up there. So I'll make my way down to where the, re the remaining enemies can't see me that are further down the hill. And there's another Banshee going airborne.
artwork of them. And All there clear. the game finally corrected itself. Now I can go inside and complete this objective. I'll top off my BR ammo. That was easy. Let's see what's inside. That one's done. Head back to November. Get another wasp. Ammo up. And then head on to the next beacon. Then why do you do this? Again and again. It's all I know. What about you? Do you have anyone out there? Three shots through no. the drop wall. Killed the band. I'm sorry. It's it's just been. It can get quite annoying. You're flying around, you might have some damage, might have some shield damage. It's gonna be okay. And you're about to get where you need to get and make it okay. Two banshees get deployed and you have to deal with them. Awaiting orders, Chief. You got it, Chief. Vehicle delivery and route. There's the game again, not giving me a full, a full sniper rifle. Now I've got it topped off and it's full. I'm going to travel to... I accidentally fast travel to Juliet. I was meaning to put a beacon down and accidentally, accidentally did a fast travel. So what I'll do is I'm going to go back and do... Back here and select Resume Mission... And apparently that corrects any kind of fast travel shenanigans that the game doesn't like or want you to do. And in doing so, it puts me near this east beacon. I'll hijack this banshee and try this again. Yeah, I'll get a little shield damage and shots once or twice. It's not a big deal. I'll get I'll be fine behind the drop wall. And the point is when I, when I grapple and hijack the banshee, I'll get my shield back from the hijack. So I'm gonna have to requisition another wasp. Delivery confirmed, Chief. This time I'll put the uh, waypoint down. There's usually two banshees that launch in this area over where this, uh, I think it's Arthok. I value target. He's already been taken out. It's just sometimes you get enemies in the same area. And so I'm going to take a look at it and I'm just going to fly around it. I don't need to engage any of that mess. Well, I was fortunately able to get through this without any banshees being around over here. Sometimes there's banshees that launch through this gap. This 
this big area here. Find one or two that get airborne from there. So it worked out that they didn't get any here. Engage any of these enemies that are on foot on the ground down below. I just want to get past them all and get to my destination. I'm pretty much just going to make my way to Juliet, or you might say at least the area, and then I'll make my way to the North Beacon. The North Beacon is one that's going to have three ghosts that are occupied by uh, elites, and the majority of the enemies are skimmers. And so really the hard part with uh, this fight is the elites and the the band and the uh, ghosts. They're they're difficult and the uh, all the skimmers are gonna fire rockets, they'll do it from distance, they're very accurate. So it's best to kind of pick them off from distance. Another beacon, another this first of set of enemies here, there's gonna be Man three be skimmers. Fine. There's something kind of goofy with the game whenever you kill mm -hmm. some skimmers. They they drop rocket launchers. But then you go to collect them and they're not there. But I think I'm able to collect rocket launchers from all three of these guys. I'll have to pop to look and see. There's going to be two Jackal Majors just across the bridge. They heard the commotion. Well, one of them heard the commotion. And off to the right, that's a Spartan Corps that I've already collected. Yet the enemies have come back and there's a bunch of skimmers. Elite and uh, Jackal Major. I'll work my way back to that area because I'll take plenty of shield damage from from uh, the enemies from the beacon. And here I'm looking around for where are the uh, rocket launchers. They had rocket launchers. Where do they go? See these two uh, skimmers that I killed. They dropped their rocket launchers. Alright, so I had to get my rocket launcher from, uh, from those two guys. I probably have three shots. Now, the technique or method I try to use is to fire, say, like the uh, sniper rifle, a couple sniper rifle shots through the uh, drop wall, and it can stun them. And then I can fire a rocket, blow them up. See, if the ghost takes a if the ghost takes at least some kind of damage, a rocket will blow it up, but not usually a single rocket on an undamaged ghost is going to blow it up. And the point is, you want it to blow up with the occupant still piloting it. That way he'll die with it. Other times, they'll want to get out, and they'll still be alive, and then they're a problem to kill. Oh, got one of them down, which turns out well. The other good benefit is you got the dynamos from the skimmers, and you can all, I can always just throw a uh, dynamo down to stun a ghost and um, just blow it up. I typically don't want to hijack one of these guys because there's so many enemies around that uh, if I go to hijack them, there's going to be an enemy that's going to not care that they're their buddy's been hijacked. They'll fire rockets, they'll throw their, they'll throw nades, they'll do whatever. And that's usually what will end up happening. You go to hijack something and you, and you gotta delay with the whole hijack mode and you can easily get picked off, stuck with a nade, hit with a rocket. Yeah, I took some damage, so I'm gonna go find this grunt and uh Get, get a full shield recharge. There's some other enemies nearby, so I just want to get up here, punch him, and get away. Yeah, 
that could have gone bad. I still want to get in and out of the wasp so it doesn't despawn. Even if I lose it, there's still going to be a ghost where I can still travel and get out of here. I think there's only one or two grunts. There's a couple grunts. But I don't... I'm pretty sure there's not any of these skimmers that have uh, shock rifles. They're all going to have rocket launchers. So, I'm, so that way I won't have to be too concerned with being sh being stunned. There's a... a uh, brute chieftain up there. I'm just waiting for him to just kind of wander off. So he's not going to engage me. Yeah, just a couple shots was just enough to do some damage on this wasp. Threat sensors will come in handy. I should put some threat sensors down so I know where these enemies are. But I think some of them gather around the, the crates, which is why I'm just going to aim it towards some of the crates and some of the walls and the pillars. There's a couple shock coils that come in handy. And that's a skimmer firing a rocket. Yeah, thanks for not letting me slide, game. I'm do the slide there. Aside from the two remaining ghosts that have elites, there's still another couple elites on foot. If not three, there's just several. And I find it kind of odd that this is exactly what I was talking about. I wanted to blow that up with the uh, elite inside because he hops out and now he's going to be a problem. It was just unusual that the uh, ghost did not get stunned. Because earlier you saw the other one get stunned. It's, it's a technique. It's, it's something I've used. It's been reliable. And it's unusual why he didn't get stunned that time. That guy, he's, he's stuck. And I try and get away. Oh boy, that could have gone bad if uh, that second shot that was fired was on target with where I was headed. Because they lead their shots where you're going. I figure I'm going to have to get out with the BR and pick off some of these guys. Headshots do not go well with the skimmers. They're kind of fluttery, hummingbird-like movements. Hard to get the headshot on them. Yeah, from this, this distance, it's hard to get the headshot. There comes a point when you kill enough enemies, if there's still elites in the ghosts, the elites will get out of the ghost and return to the, the front door there protect it, they'll just fall back and protect it when enough enemies have been killed. Not get that headshot. My goodness, just wasting a lot of VR ammo. Now, if you travel far enough away from this area, the uh, Spartan Core area where you got these enemies in this elite, the elite will return to a standard patrol mode, lowers his shield, and he's just a headshot. That's exactly what I was trying to do, is just pick him off, and then that way I can 
save the last remaining Jackal Major and uh, get a melee and get my full shield back and I'm going to put a dynamo down. Because there's only a dynamo going around. distance. Now those elites have heat waves, so I want to make sure that I am out of their firing range with the heat wave because they will, just, they will wreck this wasp. I'm looking to just fire these rockets and get uh, some cowbell boom, and that's exactly what I was trying to get right there as I get them launched. And I believe he just died. He, he went so far up in the air and came down that uh, he gets falling damage. However, it sure does take a lot of shots to get this last elite. I wanted to save that Jackal Miner in case I take any kind of damage. But I've got a lot of options here to take out this elite. I could just get in the ghost and splatter him. I can move close enough on foot, ground pound them, or grapple pound them. I could just get on top of the beacon, grapple pound them. booming cowbell as it worked earlier. Kinda did a little bit there. Gotta shoot him enough maybe to get his shield down. There we go. Booming cowbell finally came through. That takes care of the enemies here at the North A, the North Beacon. Now that Banshee launches over in that area and patrols in that area. Can't say he's gonna be a problem over here. Let's get this open. Under the beacon, there's Which a kinetic next? ammo dispenser, which is why I'm moving way down here. I'll have my VR topped off and it'll be full. travel to Kilo and work on the, I guess you can call it South Central Beacon.
Robert Hogg at your service. Stand by for the South Beacon is the one that has uh, a couple of raids and ghosts. What's our move, Chief? And I make the mistake here of requisitioning weapons for the Marines. Because I'm thinking I'm at Kilo. And I, and I the thing is, I know I'm not at Kilo. So I'll spend the time here to get all these guys equipped and get everything equipped for the assault at that beacon that has the wraiths. So I'm, I'm going to equip the Marines, and they're going to do the killing. They're going to shoot and blow up all the stuff that needs to be blown up. And then I realize as I get in the hog, it's... It's, uh... Yeah, that I'd have to... It's going to be a long drive, and it's a drive that I really... That I think it's a little risky to do. You have to... You do it on, on the road. You have to go down this path that takes you through one of the, um... Uh, uh, banished outposts. Or banished, uh, facilities. And it's it's a risky, it's a risky one. Uh, Annex Ridge. It's the one that's got an elevator. You got to go through the elevator, go through. And it's, there's and there'll be enemies there, so it's risky. So I don't want to mess with it. And and I don't I won't realize it until as I get in the hog with everyone and realize what I'd stepped into. So I'm gonna have to do all this again. Um, once I get it figured out, I'll just take a wasp and fly over to uh, Kilo, and then do all this again. I sped all that up to help save some time. I'm just going to requisition a wasp and make my way over to Kilo. Kilo's not too far away. It's a the Hunter Bond brother pair It's a low Mary. risk light. They're two of the most dangerous hunters really known to have the any, UNSC. Watch your back. Anything. It's gonna be a threat. First things I want to do is find one of the Marines that has the sniper rifle Let's because I want to give them the full sniper rifle. Okay, that gonna work for because you? Because I intend to borrow it. Uh, because on the beacon there's a brute sniper that has a shock rifle, and he can shock the Razorback easily. I'm just gonna be kind of driving around and trying to blow up the enemies, and in doing so. I could be in line of sight of the sniper. He'll stun the vehicle easily with a shot and just a sitting duck for enemies with nades, but more importantly, the wraith. So a simple wraith shot will just blow us up and then we start mission. And so the other weapon, so oh, you're going to have gee, one ring with a have. full sniper rifle. I'm going to hand out a couple sentinel beams for your Spartans. light infantry guys. And then I'll hand out a... Uh, one of the tracking rocket launcher and a let's see the uh, holding for the chief the pursuit hydra got to be ready at a moment's notice I 
I was having a hard time finding the Marines. I'm not sure where they were. I mean, not finding them. I do a lot of... This, this is really just kind of frustrating how I blew things at uh, Juliet. And then just more time-consuming nonsense with uh, hey, not Chief. being able to find these Marines. Have. Seriously. Holy crap, it's the chief! Yeah, I found the sniper marine. It's all yours. Wrong, Chief? It looks like I can see four Marines, so I'm looking for the fifth one. Yeah, way out here. Master Chief, I'm gonna enjoy using this fluffy Chief. I promise. this attack because the uh, beacon has a couple wraiths. There's really only one of the wraiths that's nearby. Uh, the other wraith and the other Damn. enemies are further There's down the hill away from the beacon. You don't have to kill them. You just need to kill the enemies within the immediate area of the beacon. I'm going to make my way down this trail and I'll come to a point to where uh, it's kind of kind of odd because I don't have a good have view of the what's around me and the thing is I want to get up Which here and get close enough to the beacon where I can I'm see the, uh, the beacon Chief, itself and see Chief? the enemies on the good. beacon and I want to try and snipe the brute sniper the brute sniper that has the shock rifle a beacon nearby. while not being seen by the out. wraith because you know the wraith seizures are going to start lobbing shots over here and that's that's going to be a real problem so I put a Hey, threat Spartan. sensor out there and not picking up anything. I'm not sure where where he is. Take it if you need it, Chief. And I brought the vault, the skewer in case I want to give and swap out the <laughs> sentinel beam for a skewer, Shotgun. mainly for Let's taking move, down Marines. the wraith because it's going to take several shots to to blow up the wraith, and it's the biggest threat. It'll wreck. It'll wreck. It'll it can kill me, but can also wreck the hog to where it may not be very drivable. Yeah. So it is on. Here we go. I'm gonna do my passes around the backside of the the beacon where I can get cover. Is now really the time for that? Just a few guys on in there. There's a sniper. Yeah, that's exactly what couldn't happen. Let's so get stunned. Well, now the sniper's down. Just take out the rest of these guys. Somebody shoot them! Yeah, oh, he's in bad shape now. Another sniper. So there's two of them. Yeah, so now my hog is a real wreck. Them. Yeah, so I guess they took down that Wraith. Got a lot of shield damage. And I'll be able to take care of that Give later. Me a second. There we go. Third 
beacon of four is down. Now the last beacon I'm going to head off to is the, is the southwest beacon. That's the one that has the hunters. And I've got a good plan okay? for them. What happened in there? I don't know. Something scanned me. Some thing? Probably fine. Probably? Or not. <sighs> really? Don't worry. We can handle it. Let's haul some ass! Enemy cavalry is on us. I'm in. Let's go. I'm gonna limp back to Kilo. Yeah, go. Come on, man! I'm gonna kinda keep my eye out, look for something wow. unsuspecting. Grunt or jackal or something so I can jump out and get a shield. But I think it's just too risky to engage any of these guys here with this other raid that goes. It's, you know, it's a bunch of nonsense. I don't want to get into. Because I'm still kind of looking. I'm looking for anything unsuspecting. figure in my travel from using the Wraith, I'm sorry, in my travel from using the Wasp to go over to Hotel, I'm pretty sure, sure I'll find something. Sure, you take it. This works. Kind of odd it turns out that the sniper rifle's still here. Apparently this base didn't reset, so it wasn't far enough away or away long enough. Jack this banshee, get my shield back. I figure with this one I'm just gonna blow it up. that mess and thought I was in good shape okay and I can just make my way to hotel and that was just I had no idea that Jack was up there. I'm going to equip these Marines with weapons that they can use from distance. And so that would be like uh, 
I think for the most part, I, I want to give them like the volatile skewers. I also want to give them something that they can use to blow up phantoms. Because that'll also save a lot of problems because the phantoms drop off a lot of enemies. Uh, like, and, and difficult enemies like elites. And so if I can blow them up with the enemies on board, then I won't have to fight them. So I want to make sure I give these guys something powerful enough to blow up the phantoms and plus weapons that they will fire I've given sometimes you give them weapons it might be effective on a phantom but they may not shoot sometimes like skewers sometimes they don't usually fire the skewers as freely as uh, as you would expect yeah I can use this yeah thanks for picking that up I didn't want you to pick that up hoorah So, orders. There goes the game again, not giving me a fully loaded weapon. Picked it up, threw it down, and the second one I grabbed, it topped off with the one that was on the ground. It's really silly. here didn't have the grapple selected had the drop wall accidentally selected the wrong weapon having a hard time here and the game just won't let me pick it up so the weapons I believe I'm gonna hand these guys out are the two sentinel beams there's gonna be a full sniper rifle you see the tracking rocket Ready. launcher and a hydra I'm going to carry a volatile skewer that I can trade out with one of the sentinel beams. So when I go to take, when I go to engage the hunters, I'm going to do them from distance. And the sentinel beam, they're, it's going to be way out of range. So I'm going to have two guys that won't be able to shoot, you know, you guys won't be shooting. So I'd rather give them weapons where at least four of the Marines can shoot. And if, you know, I probably could have found a regular skewer and not taken a BR. And then that way I'd have five weapons. But it, it turns out this works as, as it should. So the goal here, so the plan is that this is uh, giving these guys these weapons that they can fire from distance. But first and foremost, we're going to blow up a phantom. There'll be a second phantom that will bring reinforcements. 
the timing for that is just really kind of odd. I can't remember how it works or if it's a trigger line. They gotta blow that one up, and then once those two phantoms are blown up, then from distance I'm gonna move to an area where these guys can just shoot at the uh, hunters. And the hunters, you know, since it's from some certain distance, they're not normally gonna shoot back or shoot back Coming that much and get them picked off. And then get the weapons have been get all these other little guys. Here comes the phantom, or should have phantoms. There's a trigger line that sets sets them off. And now it decides to shoot. So I'm these guys to shoot. It works out well. There will be a second one that will show up. It's going to be back in this corner where I'm driving right now. I'm not sure. Again, I was saying I'm not really sure how the second one is triggered. So I do want to hang around back here. Maybe there's just a certain number of enemies that need to be killed, which is going to be my guess when you get down to a certain number of enemies, then it triggers the reinforcements. But it's risky to want to go engage the other enemies because of the hunters. I don't need to have any kind of machine gun shooting at me and messing things up. That's exactly just that. And here it comes, just, you know, just as I was... Blow this thing up before then it's not easy. So in good shape, the hog is just taking a little damage. Not bad at all. I just need to take a safe route over to where I want to go. There's some other marines that are on foot that I think are working as a distraction with the hunters. Which will buy me some time and buy me uh, uh, a low risk route where I'm not going to get shot at and I can work my way over this area and these marines will just shoot and pick off these hunters from distance. I'm going to jump out and give uh, the sentinel being the ball uh, of to get it figured out. But the Hydra and the rockets are doing a good job and the, and the sniper. I mean, you got three of these guys that are doing good. I do like this spot, but I also don't like this spot. It's at such an angle that when they go to shoot, they'll hit the ground. When I first saw this area and saw this spot, I went, oh, this is great, until I realized that it is at such an angle, they're going to be aiming down and they're going to be hitting the ground, and it'll just make, it'll just cause damage on the hog. There's this little passage, there's this little window right here that you can see They killed one of the hunters. No hostiles detected. We're oh, clear. they got both of them. And I forgot to give out the uh, skewer. Last beacon taken offline. Collect the information. We actually did we're it. Collecting data. Not that I thought we wouldn't. It's just it's nothing. Well, I have Let's shield damage. Once again, be I'll be the security now. looking for an unsuspected enemy to uh, punch so I get my shield back. I might be driving a little slow and have some thoughts on uh, what I could get. I'm in. Time to go. I'm in. That was more fun than I thought it'd be. Stay alert, Marines. We're not out of the woods just yet. Now 
off to the right was uh, some of the Marines that were with. Coming up here, here's a brand new hunk, but I realize I'm not too far away from the fob, so I'm just going to pass up on it. I don't plan on any engagements, but I believe there's going to be enemies up here, but it's not going to matter. These guys will take care of them. Now I'm looking off here to the right because there's usually some enemies. But I'm looking to see if there's something unsuspecting or something I can just easily get to, but it's not going to work out. So I'll just continue on. I figure I can just get in the wasp and get something. Up the road there where I'm looking, there's a small camp that's alongside the road. It's almost like a roadblock, but it's this different arrangement. Sometimes it's roadblock, and other times it's just enemies. That's not a roadblock. Or there's there's a variety of setups for it. And one of those setups is it's just a small camp, and it's just like one, if not two, sleeping grunts. And that's what I'll be looking for. I'll be taking the wasp and heading that way. Can't see them from here. Clear here. How are we looking? So I just want to get my sniper rifle topped off so that it's cool. And I didn't use the BR. And to make things quicker, I should have brought the wasp down first before getting the weapon. Hold tight. On the way with your wasp. Looking at the map here, I got a long way to go. Making my way to Lima. And I'm gonna take a flight path along the cliff edge. Find some that plan, Chief, all along that cliff edge so I can avoid class. any kind of What's skirmishes up, or engagements with enemies or banshees. First things first, I want to get myself a full shield. And I look and see that there is nothing, zero, nothing at this little camp. Camp is empty, there's no camp, there's no nothing. And then up here on top of these pillars, which I'll take a look here in a moment. Here, there's usually a camp, a variety of arrangements and layouts, but it's usually too many enemies, and it's usually like elites or brutes and pretty heavy enemies, and so that's that's a no-go. And over here in this area, you've got this uh, squad, it's the last squad, it's already completed, done. And sometimes you find some you know, light infantry, grunts or jackals. There will be some enemies nearby. I just need to find them. I gotta be careful because uh, sometimes you might have a rocket launcher. You might have enemy throw a nade. So it's hard to pick them out. There's also some elites riding around in ghosts. I want to avoid the uh, brutes and elites, and I just want to find like a jackal or a grunt. It's just kind of off by himself. I also want to do something that's not risky. I have not died, and I've made it through four, made it through the four beacons, and I just have uh, pretty much one fight left. There's an elite down there. Actually, I have these two elites. So I figure I can shoot both of the elites. And nope, not going to be able to shoot both the elites. Shot one of them, the other one immediately put a shield up, and that's usually kind of unusual. Yeah, that's very unusual. And my wasp had fallen down, and now it's in a very difficult situation here as I try and get it flipped. It gets damaged and damaged and more damage. This thing was brand new, and now it's, a, now it's on fire. I'm just trying to flip it. And there's usually 
some small enemies. Uh, sometimes you find that it's like a chieftain with a hammer down in this crevice. Work my way down to this kind of crevice area. Usually find something down in here. Jacket sniper is not helping. Perhaps I can get my shield back from this jackal and get away before that elite can shoot me. Yeah, that's going to be risky, so maybe the drop wall will help. Turned out that worked well. Got my shield. Got me a very damaged, a rather damaged wasp. So I'll just head back to the hotel and get a new wasp. And then I'll make my way to Lima. Taking a bit of time. But again, when this death is. Road trip. It's a road. I don't have my head on swivel and be looking around for any any kind of threats. Looking for banshees. Eventful flight to Lima. There are certain areas when you go out on the outskirts of uh, the territories here. There's some out of bounds areas. I usually try and stay around ground level, so I'll be going up in elevation or down in elevation, however it works out to kind of match, closely match, loosely match the terrain that's going by. So easily fly along and find yourself out of bounds. usually banshees that can be deployed in this area here. Keeping an eye out. Yeah, there is a banshee, so I'm just trying to make my way by without being detected. And there's enemies up on top of this area here. So that path and that flight worked out well. There's 
just want to land, get a Razorback requisition, and get these Marines armed for these, uh, this last fight. It's going to be a bunch of, like, brutes, and they'll be an elite, fronts, jackals, and uh, there'll be a trigger line that will deploy some hunters. There'll be two hunters. There'll be reinforcements. There'll be a trigger line for that. So the really just kind of first part of this fight, the biggest threats are some uh, brutes. Because they got rocket launchers, and the way they fire the rockets, lead their shots, it's hard to determine, you know, with the, the motion I'm taking, if they're firing with, you know, sure, they're firing where I'm heading, but then it's picking up when they fired and what direction am I going when they fired and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's always very difficult trying to pick up when they fired and when where they're firing to and make sure that I'm not going to get hit. So I want to be able to pick off the brutes before they shoot. So I'm going to go again with uh, two sentinel beams. I'm not sure what it is I'm looking at or thinking about here. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not really in thought about the weapons. Uh, I'm going to probably go with... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with one of these skewers gonna go with another Hydra already threw the Hydra down I don't recall using the sniper rifle but I believe it's already full now I'm gonna be looking around for Marines again it's really quiet I don't hear, hear anyone Found three. That weapon works for you, Chief. And here we go. There's a sniper. Hell yeah, it's the Chief. Oh, ho, ho. this is nice. Once again, I'll give Marines weapons that they can use to get kills from distance, and with the beams, they can get their kills say, from medium close range, because there'll be some close range that as well. Let's go, Chief. I'm itching for a fight. me this are you sure right, I got my five Marines uh, I just need to get them armed sorry about that there we go Wait, sir really? number five in addition to making sure these guys are well armed for the hunters and and these guys or like the other enemies there's also going to be a phantom that's going to fly overhead and it would work out best if they could blow up the phantom but it's not necessarily going to be that close so i'm going to carry a skewer Keep your voice where i can trade out with the uh, with like a sentinel beam that can come in handy for the Phantom, but more importantly for the Hunters, because they want to shoot and get them killed from distance. And hopefully the kind of distance where the Hunters don't shoot back. So going with the Skewer instead of the Rocket Launcher, the Tracking the tracking. Have to go very far. 
get two brutes down at this gate, and then there's two more brutes off to the left. I mean, they got rocket launchers, it's very risky. It's difficult to try and get an approach to line of sight on them. So they're not shooting back. There's also going to be a jackal sniper on top of that building yet, so I'm shoot. I'm really hoping that they pick them off because I really don't, don't want to jump out and shoot them, but I will. The thing is, I've got them in the seats that work out because the last thing I need is to get out and then the uh, enemy or the uh, marine with the uh, hydra gets in the bad seat that I don't want him to get in. through the air and they try and shoot him out of the air it's great gate got this gate cleared and that was the the I'm other gate, the other two or, uh, the other two brutes I was worried about the last thing you need to do is just come you can see all this cover and all these obstacles rocks and things the last thing you need to do is just come around a corner and he's just sitting and waiting to pull the trigger and it can, it can just be too late and be ended in an instant so the enemies that are left around this area there's going to be up in this watchtower is going to be the button to throw to uh, lower the gates. There's going to be an elite around that area that I'm looking. There's like grunts, a mule, maybe a jackal or two. But they're all uh, very dangerous enemies because, you know, with the grunts, at any moment they can throw a nade and it's going to be close quarters. Well, it's going to be real nerve-wracking. It's very hard to kind of control or get any kind of idea as far as what they're going to do, their arrangement, their layout, where they're positioned, stuff like that. So yeah, there's the Elite, and there was a Jackal or two, and there are Grunts. Disruptors that stun the vehicle, yeah, stick do. you with the nade. I, a nade stick, and, and I'm pretty much a goner. I'm the uh, Elite with the uh, Heat Wave, three shots will blow up the, uh, will destroy, pretty much wreck the... Hog. So can't have any deaths. Let it shoot. And you got that elite. He'll, you know, with the uh, here we go. Here we got some nades. That elite easily throw a nade and get us. I'm glad that he chose to pull off the sword. I think they picked off the majority of those. So here's the trigger line, and here come down the hunters. I'm going to try and get myself out of range. Uh oh, I think they saw me. They're all, like they're we're going to fight, and we're going to win. Give me your best shot, Riggles. That's what I like but to it hear. seems like at this distance, this distance has worked out well. That the Marines have seen them, but at this point, they're not shooting. They don't see them. They don't know. Usually honk on the horn will get them to take a look at a target because I've usually pointing the reticle right at the uh, the hunters or point them at a target and blow the horn. And the Marines will even tell you that too. Just point us right at them. So I'm trying to get myself in a position where you can see the hunters because the hunters took cover. 
which is kind of unusual. This is very unusual. So here's another first. I've done this many times. And this is usually a very effective method for killing the hunters, is just get these guys with the right weapons. I need to give uh, the sentinel beam the uh, skewer. Once these guys see them, then they'll then they'll start shooting. Yeah, those hunters are still in cover, so the Marines can't see them. On foot. Target's down. And trying Get to give them this. More. Yeah, finally the game. I mean, sure. after three tries, finally the makes the weapon exchange. That's right. I'm out. And yeah, I don't want the skewer in that seat because it'll cause damage to the hog. So that's what I'm doing. He keeps getting back in the same seat. And if the Hydra gets in that seat, it'll cause damage to the hog. It's, it's some bug in the game. The so good thing, the Sentinel Beam guy gets in there. Somebody, please shoot. the other one would start raging and come out to play. And I'm in a situation where I'd like to jump out and put a threat sensor down, but I don't want to risk getting out and these Marines end up losing this or switching seats. And I'm trying to get an angle where I can see the hunter. Come on, somebody shoot. Be out of range, or at least in a situ in, uh, situation and position, so that uh, the hunter doesn't shoot back. I think that hunter's down for good. And good, second hunter down. I'm on foot. I'm gonna give these guys back. Uh, Sentinel beam. I guess you need this more than I do. They got some uh, close range. Taking this vehicle. Some close range fighting. To Continue. I believe over here on this right hand side, I'm going to make another pass because I kind of blew past them kind of quickly. I think the only thing left alive over here is the mule. think about it, I probably should just jump out and get my shield back for him, but I'm going to get my shield back from the last grunt inside that. Alright, so that's the last of the enemies on that side, on the path that I took. The enemies left right here is uh, jackals, jackal majors, and then there's like one or two grunts on the right inside the bridge controls uh, building is two one grunt and two berserkers. But I think they already killed one berserker. Yeah, I do not need none of that nonsense. I know that grunt is going to throw a nade and I'm trying to back away from it. That could have been so bad. Get after them. I need to put a threat sensor down to see if uh, see where the grunts are. There's one outside and one inside. What's going on, sir? And there should be two berserkers, but I think What's apparently that? both berserkers have been taken down. All aboard! Here we go. This is 
kind of risky because these guys better shoot. Yeah, I, if he had gotten that nade off, it would have stuck us and would have blown up and probably died. Now, this grunt, I'm just going to run in and punch him. And that takes care of that. Make sure my BR is full. Because now I'm going to make sure I have the right weapons to go into uh, the next mission, which is Nexus. Because I don't plan on get out, getting out and shooting any other, any other enemies. Uh, the Marines are going to kill everything that's left. And I'm kind of look around and make sure that there's not any other enemies. Not that I need to. I'm not sure what it is I'm looking for. I think uh, that skewer. I think I'm going to get the skewers and give them to the uh, those that have the sentinel beam because I want to get the uh, the phantom destroyed before he drops off any enemies. So the plan here is I'm going to give, I'm going to hand off uh, Sentinel, or hand off uh, Skewers in exchange for the Sentinel beams. Just put them on the ground and then once that gets blown up, then I can, uh, once the, the Phantom is blown up, then I can uh, give them back. Take care of that one, Chief. Just give them back and they can blow up and they can just kill off the little enemies that are left. And what I did is I got the uh, volatile skewer because that's what I'm going to take with me in the next mission, and want to make sure that I uh, got that picked up and it's full. I'll be taking that with me. I guess I'm in thought here with uh, with what to give these guys. I guess I'm going to let the let these Marines have the Sentinel beams. Good to see you, Spartan. Changed. And I guess I'm in thought here with uh, trying to get that phantom knocked out and make sure we got what we need. Not sure what I'm looking around. Oops. <laughs> I think I gotta activate the, uh, the gate. I gotta right to Let's get going. the uh, bridge. Yeah, now it comes to me. Okay. Oh, I gotta get the bridge. Extended. Gotta find the controls and extend the bridge. Along midway, around the midway part of the bridge, will trigger the phantom. It'll come from my six, like from behind me, and fly directly overhead. And will be shooting down on me, but it won't matter even if I lose some of my shield or get some shield damage or the hog gets damaged, it won't blow up. And I'll be able to I'll be able to survive. It'll be survivable. There it is. Shoot it. Shoot it. And down. Good thing they blew it up so I wouldn't have to deal with extra enemies. And deal with them still shooting at me. Now, the enemies that are left are just, you know, light infantry, grunts, jackals. I don't think there's any brutes. There might be any leads. Chief? Alright, got the weapons I need to go into the next mission. I'm in. Let's move. These guys have got the two sentinel beams and the other weapons that will work. Red sensor out there. Go, go, go. And their their seating arrangements are good. Yeah, and there is an elite. No Trying to get these guys killed from distance. Trying to stay out of the range of nades.
one more shot would have would have destroyed this hog. A ah, good thing is that they stay in the hog while on the bridge. I think there's just one enemy left and it's just a front. Please shoot him and don't let him throw a nade on us. So that's the last enemy. But they never stood a chance. And now we're wrapping this mission up. This one's coming to a close. I'm gonna run around the corner here and make sure the PR is full, which it should already be. But it turns out that that uh, kinetic ammo dispenser is not there. Advancing. And it doesn't matter. They don't recall using it. I never doubted it for a second. This structure under the ring calls itself the Nexus. The Harbinger? She's here. Good. Let's go say hello. So thank you for joining me for this deathless mission of the sequence on Legendary with all skulls on except for Bandana. And please join me for the next mission Nexus.